Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Su. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WGPU graphics programming in Rust. In the last video, I explained how to create a 3D sync surface with both the lighting and color map effects. In this video, I will illustrate how to use the color map model to create a 3D peak surface as shown here. This is uh, the definition of the peaks function. It looks much more complicated than the sync function discussed in the last uh, video. The peaks function is a function of two variables x and z. It can be obtained by translating and scaling Gaussian distributions, which is useful for demonstrating 3D surface plots. Here, we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last example, and then make corresponding changes to that source code to build the project used in this video. Now, let's start Visual Studio Code directly from Windows Start menu from here. This is Visual Studio Code interface. Now, let's start a new terminal window. Let's cd into the folder called code cd code. From this folder, we need to create a new folder called WGPU16 and cd into it. We can now clone the source code used in the last video with the command git clone WGPU15. After this command, we leave a space and a period. This will place all our source code in the current folder. Now we can run this command and we can check direct. You can see the source code is indeed in the current folder. Now we can open this folder from Visual Studio Code open folder code WGPU16. Here contains the source code used in the last video. Here we need to add the peaks function to the mass.func.rs file from src folder, open mass.func.rs file. Here we need to add a new function called peaks here. Here is our peaks function. You can see it takes x and z as its input argument. Here we define the y function. Use this relationship here. This function returns a point array x, y, and z on the uh, peak surface. Now we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.rs file from src folder. Open main.rs file. The most code here will be the same as that used in the last uh, video. So including command line arguments, the color map name, and is two side, we keep this unchanged. But for the vertex data here, we need to change the mass function to peaks. peaks. And also we need to change the data range from minus 8 here, x minimum to 3, and here also 3, z minus 3, z maximum is 3. And then we also need to change the nx, and y, we keep the same, we don't need to change. The scale, we also keep to 2, and uh, 
as packed, we also keep the same. The light data here, we don't need to make any changes. Finally, we call the common dot run function to create our peak surface. Now we completed a modification to this main .rs file. We can now save this file. Up to now, we have finished all the program for this example. Now open a new terminal window. We can run this application use the command cargo run. This is our PIX uh, surface with the default parameter. You can see this is color map is jet. And with uh, this surface has the lighting for the front face and the back face for the both sides. We can get a better view of this surface. We can change the aspect ratio. Right now, we use 0.7, but we need to increase the, the aspect ratio. And also, we change the, the parameter for the lighting. We want to do one side lighting. Okay, close this window and change it to 0.9, for example. We increase the aspect ratio on the y direction. So we can now save this file and then rerun the program and then use a different color map HSV for example and set the is two side parameter to zero this means we want to have the one side lighting for our surface so run this command you can see we get a better view because we increase aspect ratio to 0.9 and we change the color map to the HSV you can see it is a different color map and also we only have one side lighting you can see only on the front side we have diffuse and specular lights but on the back we only have the ambient light at the back face has no uh, diffuse and uh, uh, and uh, spectral lights. Now you can also change to um, other color maps because we have defined 11 color map names so we can choose from. So close this window and uh, run, use a different color map. For example, we use the winter and uh, we want a two side lighting so we set it is light is two side to one and run this command so we get a different color map use the winter color map name you can see the back also has diffuse and spectral lights now we have completed this example in next video I will show you how to create parametric 3D surfaces with both the lighting and the color map effects. Thank you for watching.